personal level, what the Women of the Future Awards taught me was the importance of humility, as well as to stay true to your personal values and do the best that you can and believe that this will be recognized. And also that we can share this with so many different women around the world that are facing the same issues. Hi, I'm Jo. Um, I just wanted to share that uh, winning the awards has been amazing. Uh, it's an affirmation of the work that I've done. Um, and you know, it, it really showcases that you, know, you matter and, and people value you for your hard work. Um, it has definitely boosted my confidence over time and I'm actually more assured of my own voice. I hope that with this, I'm able to inspire more women to step forward to be assured of their own um, work and be confident enough to step up. So thank you very much women of the future. I'd like to encourage all the young women out there to please join our community of kindness, of collaboration, of sustainable impact so that together as women we can help make the world a much better place. Thank you and together with the women leaders and farmers in Capailano del Sur, we are the women of the future. Welcome to the first virtual Women of the Future Awards Southeast Asia. It is our hope that these awards will be a beacon of positivity and inspiration in these challenging and uncertain times. The Women of the Future program is an initiative that was founded by Pinky Lalani back in 2006 with the mission to unearth and recognize the inspirational young stars of tomorrow. And in doing so, to help burst open the female leadership pipeline. By celebrating remarkable female leaders, we have created a community of women across industries, cultures, and countries who challenge and support each other, a vibrant platform that has helped further the diversity and inclusion agenda and allowed us to springboard talent and spotlight role models for the next generation. To share a little more about the Women of the Future program and its impact, plus ways in which you can get involved in order to help shape the leadership landscape, I will now hand it over to the founder, Pinky Lalani, CBE DL. Thank you so much, Nancy, for graciously hosting our awards yet again. Kindness and collaboration are the DNA of the Women of the Future program, our initiatives that celebrate some of the most successful women all over the world. And it is these two qualities that have shone brightly over the past few months as the world has been rocked by COVID-19. It has been remarkable to witness that when traditional hierarchies and business structures are shaken to their core, when immensely difficult choices and circumstances are faced, it is the values of kindness and collaboration that have given us the tools we need to adapt, to leap into the unknown, and to find the resilience that has been the key to survival. As we face what is potentially the greatest challenge of our generation, I hope that the Women of the Future program will be the vibrant platform you need to help you and many other women succeed. I'm ever grateful for our sponsors and supporters, particularly to our headline sponsor, Aviva. We couldn't ask for a better partner with whom to weather the storm. I would also like to thank our eminent panel of judges chaired by the inspirational Vicky Trudell for their commitment and hard work in deciding the 2020 winners. For this year's awards, we received an overwhelming number of nominations across a broad range of professions, industries, cultures and countries, a wonderful sign of the gathering momentum of the programme and of the recognition of female leaders across Southeast Asia. I am so proud of our 2020 shortlist. You are all winners. I hope all of you will use your power, your voice, and your position to help those who have none of these. But most importantly, remember, you can make a difference and change the world. You are all leaders, and I hope that you will always lead with kindness. Have a wonderful evening. I am a woman of the future. And I believe in the power of kindness and collaboration. 
I am a woman of the future and I believe in the power of kindness and collaboration. I am a woman of the future and I believe in the power of kindness and collaboration. I am the woman of the future and I believe in the power of kindness and, and collaboration. collaboration. I'm a woman of the future and I believe in the powers of kindness and collaboration. I am a woman of the future and I believe in the power of kindness and, and collaboration. Wow, what a fantastic video featuring our 2020 candidates. We would love to hear your thoughts about the awards across social media. We will be posting live across our channels. Our handle on Twitter and Instagram is at Women of Future, all one word. And we will also be posting on Facebook and LinkedIn. We are using the hashtag WOF2020, so please use that when posting on social media as well. And last year, we actually trended number three in Singapore on Twitter and our global audience this year. Let's trend across all countries and regions in Southeast Asia. And the awards booklet featuring short biographies of our 2020 shortlisters and judges can be found on our website next to the link that you clicked on to watch these awards. From human rights activists to entrepreneurs who are shaping tomorrow's world, the 2020 shortlist places the spotlight on women making a real difference in Southeast Asia. I urge you to read their stories and be inspired. Now it is time to welcome a very special guest. She is the global ambassador of the Women of the Future program and a woman dedicated to helping young people reach their potential. It is a great pleasure to introduce Her Royal Highness, the Countess of Wessex. I'm delighted to welcome you to the Women of the Future Southeast Asia Awards 2020. I've been the global ambassador of the Women of the Future program for four years and tonight marks the very first award ceremony to be hosted online. Although, of course, we would far prefer to be together, celebrating in person the tremendous achievement of all the candidates we are honouring tonight, it is nevertheless a wonderful opportunity to connect virtually across all corners of the globe. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary leadership, and our 2020 Women of the Future Southeast Asia Award candidates exemplify how talented female leaders are paving the way and effecting positive change in so many professions, industries and sectors. I'm hugely inspired by your work and the way in which so many of you are shattering stereotypes and inspiring the next generation of women across Southeast Asia. Now, more than ever before, when it can feel that challenges are insurmountable or when our traditional communities and support structures have been shaken, we need to find ways in which to connect, learn from each other and collaborate on a local and global scale so that we support this generation of female leaders and the next. Enjoy this evening, everyone. We celebrate you all for your work, your passion and your tenacity to pursue what is often the road less travelled. Congratulations. Thank you so much to Her Royal Highness, the Countess of Wessex, for that special message. These awards would not be possible without the enormous support of our sponsors and partners. In particular, a huge thank you to our headline sponsor, Aviva, who has been absolutely committed to our awards both in the UK and in Southeast Asia. We will now hear a little more from Chris Way, Executive Chairman of Asia and FPI and Global Chairman, Aviva Digital. Hello. Aviva has been a proud sponsor of the Women of the Future Southeast Asia Award for three consecutive years. The award's passion for diversity and inclusion also lies at the heart of our business. At Aviva, we've been advocating and redefining workplace diversity for years. With the ongoing pandemic, this year's award ceremony takes on a different form. Unfortunately, we can't celebrate the emerging leaders' achievements in person, but we must remember the significance of the award. Awards like these are critical to support the success of these leaders. It is for women to be confident of who they are and for them to believe they can achieve everything they want to. One takeaway from this pandemic is a reminder that this award stands for a community driven by kindness and collaboration. I hope that this community can continue to pursue the impact they wish to deliver and inspire many generations of female leaders to come. Thank you. 
Thank you once again to Aviva for their unwavering support and belief in the importance of this initiative to open doors and opportunities for women across the region. And now it is time to announce the Women of the Future Awards Southeast Asia 2020. Once again, a reminder to please engage on our social media handles during the winner announcements using the hashtag WOF2020 and tagging at Women of Future on both Twitter and Instagram. Thank you. Well, let's kick things off with our Arts and Culture Award, sponsored by the Financial Times. The pandemic has ripped through the creative industry, and yet it is artists, musicians, actors, and photographers who have created opportunities for connection when we need them the most. We honor each of our five outstanding nominees for the way in which their work brings hope, builds community, solidarity, and works to improve cultural fluency. Let's learn more about them. <music> Super talented Thai British actress, singer, and YouTube sensation, our first nominee recently starred in the Netflix drama The Stranded, and her sixth single is out now. She is Charlida Gilbert. Rising to fame as the winner of the Astro Star Quest singing competition in 2012, our second nominee has since released two Mandarin albums, with a Cantonese album due to launch imminently. She is Nicole Lai. Now, the former chief photographer for the Malaysian figure skating team and the only accredited female Malaysian photographer to shoot the Winter Olympic Games. She's the founder of Antopia Photographic Studios, Anis Lin. As one of the most recognised stars in the Malaysian entertainment industry, our next trailblazing candidate is an actress, model and television host who has been on our screens since she was just 11 years old. She is Lisa Suriani. Known for her powerful voice and her determination to empower women, our final arts and culture nominee is a world-renowned singer. She has released two duet singles with star Siamel, and her music has been consistently voted number one on Music Music 34. She is Ernie Zachary. What a lineup of extraordinary talent. The 2020 winner of the Arts and Culture Award is Anise Lin. The judges commend Anise for the way in which she uses her talent as a photographer to connect communities. In recent months, Anise has taken photographs to showcase unsung heroes during this difficult time. Congratulations, Anise. Let's now hear from our winner. Thank you, Women of the Future Southeast Asia, for this incredible recognition. You know, the essential purpose of photography is a form of communication that compels us to inform and impact the society. And as photographer, we are visually present to be able to document the most significant moments of someone else's life. And to those whom I photograph, thank you so much for allowing me to tell your story and to celebrate you. Thank you, Anise, for all you do to uplift others. And next up is our business award, sponsored by Asia Square. Here to introduce our stellar shortlist is Piyush Gupta, the chief executive officer of DBS Group. I have been privileged to be associated with the Women of the Future Awards program for some years now. Uh, it's an extraordinary program because it not only seeks to recognize talent, it creates a fantastic platform for global connectivity. It is quite clear that in the world that we are going into, this kind of global connectivity is going to be crucial for enhancement, betterment of our own and everybody's prospects. It's a real privilege to introduce the nominees for this year's Business Awards section. The ladies who have been selected for this candidate list are extraordinary in their own right. They have outperformed in the companies they are in and the work that they do. But what's special about them is not just their business achievements, but the fact that they're able to connect the dots, they get the big picture, and they look to shape a world and an agenda bigger than themselves. Let's see what we can learn from them. A 
Business Dynamo, our first nominee is dedicated to developing community-based tourism, responsible business and the tech sector in Myanmar. She's the MD of Forever Travel, Forever Corporation and heads up business development at MM Digital Solutions. She is Kintheda Hanin. Now we shine the spotlight on BT's youngest ever senior account manager in Southeast Asia. She has driven over a hundred million Singapore dollars in new business in just four years. She's the unstoppable Michelle Lim. Next, an expert in strategic tax solutions who has provided a lifeline of tax advice to over 1,000 companies across Asia, Europe and America. A mentor and women's empowerment champion, we celebrate Becky Wiet Not Bic. Our fourth nominee is well regarded as the entry point for startups in APAC. She is the driving force behind Amadeus Next, the leading travel tech startup community in Asia Pacific. She's Stephanie Strunk. Passionate about the hospitality industry, our final candidate is the current Director of Rooms at Hotel Indigo Singapore Katong, part of the Intercontinental Hotels Group. She's an inspiration for all women in hospitality and tourism. She is Jess Yap. And so, who is our big winner? Our 2020 Business Award winner is Kin Theta Hanin. Our judges noted that Kin is driven by a motivation to support her family and community in Myanmar. She has successfully built a sustainable tourism business that, amongst other things, empowers ethnic minorities and gives recognition for indigenous skills. In recent months, Kin, together with the Singapore Management Myanmar alumni chapter Exco, has founded a COVID-19 fund to support two out of the three major COVID-19 medical centers and hospitals in the region. Let's hear it from our winner now, Kin Thida Hinin. I'm very honored to be the recipients of this award. I would sincerely like to thank the Women of the Future team and the judges for organizing this event and supporting women to step up and shine by recognizing our work and giving us a chance to be part of this kind and collaborative network. Together with this strong, like-minded network, I believe that we will be able to inspire and empower each other and the women of the world to create more positive impacts in our societies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ken. We agree with you wholeheartedly. Well, let's now turn to the community spirit and public service category sponsored by WorldPay from FIS. Well, 2020 has shown us in no uncertain terms just how important it is for communities to come together to help those who are vulnerable and in need. Many of our Women of the Future Southeast Asia nominees have been at the forefront of relief efforts, helping those impacted by COVID-19. Whether this be by offering a lifeline to refugees, uplifting and empowering female leaders in business, or simply creating awareness in our communities and countries to stay at home. It has been a year that has challenged us beyond anything we could have imagined, but a year that has also highlighted the essential work of our community spirit and public service champions. Here are our 2020 nominees. Dedicated to empowering others and to developing the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Brunei, our first nominee is the current president of the Commonwealth Alliance of Young Entrepreneurs Asia. She is Norliana Fatin Arifin. Next, we celebrate a champion for diversity and inclusion and an inspiration to women in tech. She is the Regional Alliance Manager for NTT and the Chairwoman of a charity dedicated to providing opportunities for people with disabilities. She is Louise Ko. Our third nominee leads the Google Cloud Singapore Partner Team and she is on a mission to engage and nurture young talent in the tech industry. She has helped build a community of over 700 young professionals in tech. She is Kaylee Fung. Now, the founder and director of Refuge for the Refugees, a non-profit organisation doing a huge amount to raise awareness of the plight of refugees in Malaysia and provide education for refugee children. She's the remarkable Heidi Kwa. As the founder of Giving is Social, our next nominee has made so many giving opportunities possible through Southeast Asia. 
She believes that a culture of generosity is key to addressing social problems. She is Joanna Villa Garcia Blanding. Our final candidate in this category is the driving force behind the Next Women Generation project in Cambodia, a platform for Cambodian female leaders and entrepreneurs working in social development, economics, education and innovation. She is Sathiri Yu. Our judges were blown away by our nominees and their immense passion and dedication to helping others. But there is just one winner. The winner of this year's Women of the Future Southeast Asia Community Spirit and Public Service Award is Heidi Kwa. Courageous and dynamic, Heidi is currently rolling out grocery aid for refugee and migrant families impacted by the pandemic. Let's hear from our winner. It is my biggest joy and honor to be considered for the Women of the Future Award. We are now 10 years into serving the most vulnerable communities in Malaysia and we are so thankful for the role models who have gone before us in setting the standards of excellency when serving the communities. We are so thankful for partners and friends who have come on board to believe in the vision and to partner up with us in serving the communities in Malaysia. This is a special shout out to every single refugee community leader I've had the privilege of working alongside. You guys are the real champions. I appreciate you, I honour you, and I celebrate you. We love your energy, Heidi. You are a true inspiration. Our judges would also like to highly commend Southern Ryu and her work empowering women in Cambodia. Well done to you both. I would now like to introduce the Executive Director, APEC Secretariat for Malaysia, Dr. Rebecca Santamaria, to say a few words and introduce our Entrepreneur 2020 category. The Women of the Future Awards Southeast Asia enables brilliant female leaders from all corners of the globe to connect. In this period of uncertainty, we need to seize the opportunity to strengthen systems that we've grown to rely on over the years and to work together across Southeast Asia so that we can provide a fair, transparent and stable investment environment that allows trade, new ideas and businesses to flow and ultimately flourish. I am delighted to introduce the Women of the Future Southeast Asia 2020 Entrepreneur category sponsored by Said Business School, University of Oxford. I'm inspired by the work of our shortlist and know that entrepreneurial spirit like this will help us to emerge from this crisis stronger than ever before. <music> for good, our first nominee is the CEO of a leading media agency in Myanmar with a goal to upskill women at every level of the social hierarchy with education and information accessibility. She is Lutshmi Banya. Next, a lawyer and tech expert behind Legalese, a deep tech computational law startup that aims to replace contract drafting lawyers with contract drafting software. With a fascinating career journey to share, she is Alexis Tune. As the co-founder of an award-winning tech consultancy, our next candidate believes that technology and remote working are vital when it comes to improving economic distribution to remote communities and to enabling more women to access financial freedom. She is Amy Rumley. When she was just 24 years old, she set her sights on cutting out the middleman to revolutionise the coffee industry in Laos and built sustainable and uplifting relationships with coffee farmers. Our final groundbreaking candidate in this category is Anita Takunski. It was a real honour for our judges to spend time interviewing all the candidates and learning so much from their passion and drive. So who is our winner? Our 2020 winner of the Entrepreneur Award is Anita Takunsi. Anita's energy and entrepreneurial spirit shone through for our judges. She has empowered her team so that they too can lead and drive positive change within the coffee industry in Laos. Over to you, Anita. 
Thank you. I'm very honored and humbled to accept this award and to join the network of inspiring, hardworking, smart and kind women of Southeast Asia and the UK. Thank you the Women of the Future Award for recognizing my work as an entrepreneur and salute to all of the nominations this year in every category who have contributed a great work for our community. I also would like to thank um, Mary who nominated me and the people who supported my nomination. This award means a lot to me and also means a lot to every girl and woman in Laos that are trying to thrive and are trying to do good work for their community. I think when winning this award is a proof that if you believe in your dreams and if you work hard enough, your work will be appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Anita. Well, creative, dynamic, and often fearless in uncovering and presenting important issues to a global audience, our media and communications nominees play a vital role in broadening our understanding and perspective of the world. Covering many taboo subjects and stories, they demonstrate remarkable bravery and a determination to uncover the truth. Here are our nominees for our Media and Communication Award 2020, sponsored by CNBC. <laughs> With an impeccable track record as a communicator, journalist and filmmaker, our first shortlister is a Senior Innovation Programme Manager for USED's Development Innovations Project. She heads up initiatives designed to bridge the gender gap in the tech and entrepreneurship sectors in Cambodia. She is Sothiviat. Our second candidate is a multi-award winning journalist, TV host and advocate. She hosts Good Morning Koya on UNTV and uses her voice to raise awareness of critical issues such as malnutrition, poverty and those who are differently abled. She is Angela Lagunzad. Fronting the primetime news programme and spearheading Awani Review, our third nominee stops at nothing to highlight important issues from human rights to gender equality. She is the editor and anchor at Malaysia's leading news channel, Astro Awani. Cynthia Ung. Bringing our media and communications category to a close is the advocacy and campaign coordinator for Oxfam in Myanmar. She leads the organisation's work on gender justice and equality, shifting attitudes on these critical issues and driving change. She is Yi Monu. So, who is this year's winner of our Women of the Future Southeast Asia Media and Communications Award? Our winner is Sadivi Ott. Sadivi is motivated to help Cambodians find their own voices so as to highlight their own causes. Our judges hope this award helps Sadivi and her mission to reduce plastic waste. We also thank Sadivi for her recent campaign to encourage people to stay home and save lives. Here is our winner, Sadivi Ott. Thank you to the Women of the Future team for this honor and to be part of this amazing community of leader and role model. You all have inspired me in so many ways and motivated me to continue to help Cambodia to be a better place to live through Thin Plastic and also Stay Home campaign. I also want to thank the two incredible women who pushed me to become who I am today. My mom who always trusts me and believes in everything I do. And my mentor, Kate, who guide me to be a better leader. After being selected, I even more committed than ever to continue to support other young women and men to be innovator and leader in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Sadivi, and for all the work you are doing to help others at this time. Our judges also commend Yi Manu for the important work she is doing to enable a brighter and more equitable future for all in Myanmar. Congratulations to you both. Well, if you look back on your own journey, it is likely that you can name a few key people who challenged and supported you along the way, who helped you see your own blind spots as well as your own potential, and who encouraged you to take the next critical step in your career. A great mentor is invaluable, and we salute all six 2020 nominees. Here is our 2020 shortlist for the Women of the Future Southeast Asia Mentor Award, sponsored by NTT Limited. Up 
Upskilling women from low-income groups in financial literacy development is what our first nominee does best. His passion for education knows no bounds. He is Dr. Paolo Adrania. For over 20 years, our second candidate has mentored women in Australia, Singapore, Malaysia and Nepal, helping students, mothers returning to work, colleagues and female-led startups achieve their potential. She is Carolyn Chimpari. Next, the co-founder of She Investments in Cambodia. By economically empowering more than 250 women to build and scale their businesses, she's bridging the gender gap in the SME sector. She is Lida Loam. Our fourth candidate is driving change in the Philippines' agricultural industry. She heads up a woman-led family farms cooperative and is a key player in the country's family farms movement. She is Gigi Morris. Now the founder of Cambodia's first coding club, Sisters of Code. Dedicated to developing young talent and supporting skills growth, she's the managing director of STEP, an IT education and training centre. She is Natalia Rodionova. Rounding up our mentor category is the co-founder and deputy chair of the Women's Institute of Management in Malaysia. Using skills training and education, she is expanding the horizons of disadvantaged women all over the region. She is Dr. Nelly Tansuilian. Our Women of the Future Mentor Award winner is Gigi Morris. Gigi's MOCA Family Farm and Learning Center has had a major impact on her island in the Philippines. Local farmers and their children are learning new skills, and she plans to replicate the template across the region. Let's hear from our winner, Gigi Morris. I am grateful to the wonderful team behind the Women of the Future Awards. I remember when Jinga told me about the nomination. I was very grateful and thankful, of course, but also at the same time, I was scared because I know that inspiring women in a bigger platform is a huge responsibility. But then I have to remind myself that a real woman of the future doesn't really run away from responsibilities. Instead, we embrace it and we say, bring it on. And I also would like to thank the women of the past generations, the generations of my mom, for raising women of the future like us to be strong, tough, yet gentle and caring, and always ready to help and collaborate. Salamat and enjoy life. Thank you. The judges also highly recommend Natalia Rodionova and her Sisters of Code organization. With a clear strategy, executed well, and superb understanding of the cultural environment in Cambodia, Natalia is making a hugely positive impact. Well done to you both. And we now turn our attention to the Professions category, sponsored by Mishkan Dereya. To introduce this award, we are honored that one of the longest standing supporters of our initiative, our Women of the Future patron, Sherry Blair, CVE QC, has shared this message of support. The Women of the Future Awards Southeast Asia are important because they show us what is possible if we dream big, work hard, and have the courage to challenge traditional hierarchies and definitions of leadership. The women we are celebrating are breaking new ground in each of their respective fields, paving the way for others as they go. Let us continue highlighting exemplary female talent so that we can push the diversity and inclusion agenda forward, transforming leadership and businesses so that they better represent the great diversity of the people they serve. Well done to you all. You are inspirational. Without further ado, let me introduce our Professions Award nominees. Committed to maintaining peace through UN peacekeeping, our first nominee is a respected speaker, humanitarian and peacekeeper. She served as a member of the Indonesian Battalion in the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon. She is Mega Arianti. Next, an attorney serving as Director of Legal Interventions at the International Justice Mission Cebu. 
Working to combat the commercial and online sexual exploitation of children, she has supported 83 convictions of traffickers to date. She is the tenacious Lucille De Hito. As the Managing Director and Market Head for the Greater China South Region of DBS Bank, our next nominee's innovative leadership has ensured her team's exponential growth and driven DBS's One Bank Value proposition. She is Shana C. Our final candidate in the Professions category founded JEN International People and Leadership Development. She's focused on the empowerment of future leaders and has masterminded numerous leadership programs. She is Jen Vu Hong. What a fantastic lineup. Our winner of the Women of the Future Southeast Asia Professions Award is Lucille De Hito. Lucille stood out for our judges in terms of the gravity of her role in combating the commercial sex trafficking of children. Our hope is that this award further amplifies Lucille's incredibly powerful work. Over to you, Lucille. It is a great honor to receive this award and to be counted among all the inspiring women of strength and courage nominated and present here today. I share this award with all of you. I have dedicated my profession as a lawyer to be in the front lines of ending sex trafficking and online sexual exploitation of children in the Philippines, a cause that is not without challenges or inadequacies but fulfilling despite of. Nearly 50 million people are in slavery today. Sex trafficking, forced labor slavery, bonded labor, and even online sexual exploitation of children. A woman of the future is not deterred by these giants. Instead, a woman of the future chooses courage, charges with hope, and catalyzes others to join the fight. Thank you and mabuhay. Congratulations and thank you, Lucille. What an inspirational call to action. And we now move on to our property infrastructure and construction category sponsored by RICS. COVID-19 has forced us to relook at what we consider normal and given us a far greater appreciation for the things that we hold dear. One of those things is the environment in which we live and work. Our hospitals and support systems, our schools, green spaces, places for our children to play safely, fresh air, the blue skies, and the preservation of the natural world. All of these things have been pushed up the priority list. And how will this crisis affect the built environment sector? What will our cities and towns look like in years and decades to come? With female leaders like these five outstanding candidates in our Women of the Future, Southeast Asia Property, Infrastructure and Construction shortlist, we can be rest assured that the future is bright. After years spent in architecture, our first nominee took the bold jump and moved into construction consulting. She is currently a senior project manager at Turner and Townsend, working to develop a major and complex infrastructure program in Singapore. Let's welcome Edlin Chong. As a director at Knight Frank in Occupier Services and Commercial Agency, our next candidate drives business strategy and initiatives across the APAC region. Prior to joining Knight Frank, she oversaw 29 global accounts at Interface, a key mentor to women in the real estate industry, she is Adeline Liu. Now, the founder and principal architect of BMK Architects in Cambodia. She's encouraging Cambodian women into STEM and creating a sustainable, innovative built environment sector. She is Mwigi Sok. Driving impact, investing and corporate social responsibility initiatives for the Tong Eng Group, our next candidate has contributed significantly to the group's development, commercial portfolios and spearheaded the group's overseas move to Australia. She is Emily Atio. With a vision to simplify the process of selling, buying and renting properties, our final shortlister in the property category is the CEO of Oh My Home, 
Singapore's first one-stop property solution. She is Rhonda Wong. An impressive and diverse set of nominations, but we can only have one winner tonight. It's so tough. Our 2020 Women of the Future Southeast Asia Property Award goes to Rhonda Wong. Well, Rhonda has a clear vision and a structured plan to achieve change in the property sector for the greater good across Southeast Asia. A huge congratulations to you, Rhonda. Thank you, Aviva, for this Women of the Future Award. I am honored to receive it, and I share this with my fellow nominees. You are all wonderful and inspiring women, and together we can lift the bar and continue to inspire and encourage our fellow female community. Success doesn't come from one person, but a big team with an unwavering commitment to the same cause. And I'm proud to have been leading this team with my sister, Race Wong. Driving a positive change in the property transaction industry has always been the focus of All My Home, and we will continue to spread love, kindness, and grace to those we encounter on this journey. Thank you. We will be following your journey very closely, Rhonda. Thank you so much. Our judges also highly commend Myungguk Sok for championing gender equality in Cambodia and for being an industry champion in a male-dominated sector. Well done to you both. The world is looking to science and tech and the digital sectors to navigate a way through this crisis. Never before have we been more mindful of the power of science to change lives. Here are our nominees for the 2020 Science, Technology and Digital Award, sponsored by Aviva. Kicking off our Science, Technology and Digital category is a senior academic at University Sounds Malaysia. Her research merges plant science with modern precision farming to bring affordable and nutritious food to those living in Malaysia. She is Dr. Bilin Chu. Now, an academic contributing to our understanding of cancer. She's also using her expertise in molecular genetics to improve agricultural productivity in Malaysia. She is Wan Yong Ho. Our third nominee is an associate professor with a goal to develop cancer diagnosis tools that improve the experience of patients. Her expertise in the nanosensor field is sought after worldwide. She is Dr. Su Yi Nu. As a research scientist at Temasek Laboratories, Nanyang Technological University, our final candidate has led several research projects in digital signal processing. She is Sehua Zhu. <laughs> Our 2020 winner of the Science, Technology and Digital Award is B. Lin Chu. B. Lin inspires the next generation of young female scientists and is adapting the face of agriculture to benefit livelihoods and attract future farmers in Malaysia. Let's hear more from our winner. Apa kabar? Hi everyone. Thank you to the Women of the Future for selecting me to receive this award for the year 2020. I'm truly glad and thrilled to be receiving for the category of Science and Technology. Congratulations also to the other uh, finalists from the other categories. First and foremost, I would like to thank my parents, my good friends, University in Science Malaysia, and also my students who have never failed to inspire and motivate me throughout my journey in academia and research. Last but not least, this award is also dedicated to all the women out there. Stay strong, stay safe, and stay beautiful. Congratulations, B. Lin. Our judges also highly commend Su Yi Nu as a strong role model with great ambition and potential to further impact society. Well done to you both. We now move on to our final award, the Social Entrepreneur Award, which identifies and celebrates altruistic social entrepreneurs. To introduce this category, we are delighted to have the chair of our judging panel and the vice chair of the Women of the Future program, Vicky Trudell, the British High Commissioner to Australia. It has been a great privilege to be part of Women of the Future Southeast Asia ever since its inception, to work with Pinky Lilani and her fantastic team at Women of the Future. But most importantly, what has motivated and inspired are the young women that we have met, 
no less so than this year's 2020 cohort. Young women who are role models, young women who inspire, young women who are the change that they want to see, who will realize their potential. And this awards has given them confidence and a network unsurpassed by any other. For all of us, and the communities which we serve, the organizations of which we are part. To be part of this is to be part of a global community. We can realize even greater ambition as we go forward with this incredible network of talent. These are the women of the future, a future that they will help to shape, influence and inform. They will be the change that we all want to see. Opening the social entrepreneur category is a woman who leads a cooperative that facilitates the inter-regional trading of agriculture products. Her mission is to challenge the status quo and the stigmas imposed on ethnic minority women in Vietnam. She is Hoa Lu. Establishing strategic social policies for marginalised communities within Sabah and championing women's rights, our second nominee collaborates with government bodies, community partnerships and local businesses to uplift others. She is Jo Moss. Training and empowering volunteer teachers so that they are equipped to teach underprivileged children, our next nominees programmes are nothing short of transformational for both teachers and students alike. She's the director of the Society for Community Outreach and Training in Brunei, Aspadiya Mohamed Saar. Now, the founder of the online learning enterprise, CC Educare. Her goal is to provide education in areas of Myanmar that lack access to quality teaching and schools. This year alone, she will empower 200 women in vulnerable groups. She is Chitthu. Last up is the co-founder of Toppy Education, an edtech company delivering personalised and affordable learning by means of artificial intelligence and big data. She's bringing quality education to students in Vietnam. She is Nok Han Tran. Our winner of the Social Entrepreneur Award tonight is Chit Tu. Chit is making a significant impact training refugees as well as in digital literacy, particularly for the 16 to 20 age group. She's got her sights set on scaling up the business so as to broaden its reach. Let's hear from our winner. Thank you so much for giving me an award. Um, this award is not just for me, but for my community and all the amazing women out there. Um, I was really wanted to be in the Women Network to grow stronger and I want to collaborate with you all. And another thing is, um, I really want to contribute back to my community and I'm proud to be named as Women of the Future. Thank you. Thank you, Chit. We can't wait to see what you go on to achieve. Our judges also highly commend Aspadia Mohamed Saw. Well done to you both. And so the awards show draws to a close. What a wonderful experience it has been to showcase such phenomenal talent in Southeast Asia and to hear from our 2020 winners. By placing the spotlight firmly on female leadership, we can help drive transformation and better representation at every level. I urge you to get involved with the Women of the Future program so that we can amplify its impact all over the world. With kindness and collaboration, there is really no limit to what can be achieved. It has been an honor to be your host for the Women of the Future Awards Southeast Asia 2020. Although presented in a slightly different format to what we are used to, the pure talent and determination of all the candidates to forge their path amidst these current challenging times has been so uplifting. My congratulations to all of tonight's award winners and the shortlisted candidates. The nominations for next year's awards will be opening in just a few weeks' time, so if you know of any amazing women under 35 from one of the 11 countries in the region, I'm sure you do, please do nominate them. We want to hear about their inspirational, emerging female talent in Southeast Asia. Finally, my thanks, of course, to all of our incredible sponsors and partners of this program, including AirAsia, Asia Square, Barry Brothers, CNBC, The Great Campaign, Google, 
Hilton Singapore, Financial Times, Mishkan Derea, NTT Limited, Said Business School, University of Oxford, Ricks, World Pay from FIS, and of course, a big thank you to Aviva, our headline sponsor, for their unwavering support and engagement. We thank you all.